Imagine for a moment that you're a frontline employee at one of the world's largest travel management companies. You're busy making flight and hotel reservations for a client when your manager walks over, whips out a corporate financial statement, and asks for your opinions on how to boost profits. Think these types of conversations are reserved for only senior management and financial analysts? Think again. Travel counselors are studying their company's financials on a weekly basis at a company Bill takes you to on tonight's Eye on CWT. The people who have the greatest pulse on our financials are our frontline travel counselors. They interact daily with our clients. They're in charge of bringing revenue into CWT by booking travel reservations. And they have the greatest pulse on the amount of reservations coming from our various client groups. This morning we talked about invoicing all car and hotel only reservations as well as revalidations. Now I understand that if I don't take the time to do this, then I've done all that work for free and Carlson actually loses revenue. I have a bigger understanding of the entire picture. Um, I've learned that the support for another team that I give directly impacts the bottom line of the entire office. We all kind of have to work together in order to make CWT a great place to work. The frontline agents are making daily decisions that affect the bottom line. I look back to when we started this game over a year ago and no one knew what control they had over direct costs and profitability or even how we earn revenue. We've really come a long way, Bill. I feel that CWT management has entrusted us with this financial data and that empowers us to create positive financial opportunities for the company. It's our job to understand the financials and to find ways that we can help improve the numbers. It's really fun, that's why we call it the game. Our operation had been primarily focused on cost and expenses and productivity without looking at the whole picture. Our financial improvement plans were typically centered on short-sighted efforts such as using less copy paper or turning out the lights when you leave a room. We were always trying to find ways to do more with less, and the people making those decisions were not the ones involved in performing the daily work of a Frontline Reservation Center employee. Before playing the game, our focus had been on the typical call center metrics, such as reducing handle time and increasing the number of calls answered. We had been operating with a cattle rustler's mentality of move them out, and that was actually impacting our profitability. Reducing costs is great, but if you're not increasing revenue, then you're missing out. The results speak for themselves. Houston reached a direct profitability number for 2006 that was 9% better than budget, representing an additional half million dollars in direct profitability. In addition, to show how closely the employees are tied to the results, their forecasted direct profitability was within 1% of our actual performance. Since 2006, CWT employees have been playing the game in office locations throughout North America. By having an inside look at the financials, you can see not only how they have improved our company's bottom line, they also have a greater sense of pride in their work and a commitment to outstanding business results. Kudos to CWT employees for their groundbreaking achievements, and thanks to Bill Fodge.